If something should happen to you, what would happen to your farm? If the security and protection of your family and the passing of the farm to your loved ones is your dream, then you need a well-thought-out farm estate plan. I'm Brad Swenson, president of Swenson Investments and Commodities in Sioux Falls and Heron. We're a family-owned company that helps farmers keep the family farm. Brian, I'm kind of torn. I like saving money, but if I have a problem, I'd like somebody to help me out solving that problem. <laughs> well, during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about name brand versus generic pesticides. It's the same thing like with pharmaceutical products, for example. You can go to the drugstore, and here's one name brand product, and right next to it, it'll say, same as this other product. Well, the thing is, with ag chemicals, it isn't necessarily exactly the same. So you could get a what's called generic glyphosate, and it might not be the same as name brand Roundup. There would be a couple of main things that would be different. Well, there are really some major differences. The salt could be different. There's a four pound or six pound product on different salts. The concentration. The, the concentration is different. And also the surfactant that's in there, or if there's any surfactant in there. What surfactant is, is that's what helps that product move through the leaf surface and get into the plant. And if you have a little more surfactant, it's going to be a little more consistent throughout variable weather conditions. And if you have no surfactant at all, well, it just might not get all that glyphosate down into the leaf. So that's a big difference in a lot of these products. Yeah, and that's just on the technical side of things. Then there's the program side. And like Darren was, was alluding to earlier, sometimes with the name brand products, if the product doesn't work, they'll give you free product to respray. Or maybe they've got another program that ties in with seed or gives you a little rebate on this or that. I mean, there are a number of different things that the manufacturer can incentivize the user who buys those products where the generic product may not offer the same benefits. So all we encourage farmers to do is just make sure you know what you're getting before you buy it. Well, and there may be some product that you say, you know, it really doesn't matter. Like 2,4-Ds, for example. There's a number of different manufacturers of 2,4-D type products. There's really no service policy. If it doesn't work, they just say, well, I'll go buy some more and try it again. So if you're in a product like that, where there is no service policy, then it isn't such a big deal which one you well, may Well, it use. might not be such a big deal, but you want to make sure that the product you're getting is good product. And if it's, let's say, made in the United States, you know that there are at least chances are, better quality controls than a product made somewhere else in the world. We don't know that for sure, but in our own experience, that's kind of what we have found in the past. So as a farmer, you've got to look at all these things and you've got to weigh out, well, how much can I really save with that generic product? How much additional money will I invest with the name brand product? And you know what? In some cases, some of the generic products, they actually have better programs than the name brand products. So well, again, you just have to know what you're getting. It's interesting. And some like the some of the generic insecticides that are available on the, on the market, they actually have risk sharing programs where, hey, if you need to respray, Maybe there's certain generic products that will help you out with a respray. If so, that just changes my opinion of which one I want to get. So you have to look at how much risk you want to take on yourself and how much risk someone else is willing to share because that has value as well. And the other big thing here, when we start talking about name brand versus generic pesticides, very often farmers are investing fifty or $100,000 in pesticides on their farm. It's a big deal and it affects their crop and their crop might be worth a million dollars or two million dollars. If something goes wrong, it could be devastating to their financial picture. Whereas if you're going to buy a generic medicine, let's say, and the one costs $10 and the other costs $12, there's probably not a whole lot of difference. Not to discount that, there certainly could be, but it's just a big, big decision when it comes to on-farm investments like generic versus name brand pesticides. Well, I don't care which one you use, Brand, as long as they control our weed of the week. We'll show you which products you might choose coming up later in the show.